What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today we're going to be going over the updates and the overview of the new RTX cards and some more of the updates that Nvidia just announced about 10, 15 minutes ago. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, we're going to start with the biggest announcement, which I think is the 30 80 and that is the RTX 3080 and a lot of the leaks of what it was going to look like were actually true So forgive me if I'm reading notes I don't have all of this memorized because it literally just happened But the new structure is called the ampere structure and the old one was the touring one It's the new architecture second gen RTX This is going to be three times quieter than the 2080 and it is supposed to have twice the power of the 2080 Ti so the 3080 is gonna have twice the power of 2080 Ti, and the really awesome thing, it is going to start at $699, which is what the 2080 was before. So a ton of performance boost with not very much more as far as how much it costs. Then moving down the list, and this is the awesome announcement, and this graphic card I am actually going to personally get, it is the RTX 3070. Uh, which is going to be faster than a 2080 Ti. It has eight gigabytes of G6, while the 3080 had 10 gigabytes of G6. And it is going to start just at what the RTX 2070 costs at $499. And that is coming out in October. And they also released the huge Titan X for $1,499. And it will be able to do 60 FPS at 8K. These are huge numbers. So a huge announcement with this was DLSS 2.0, which essentially is an AI ray tracing that is going to, it's actually very complicated. I don't understand it fully, but the concept is simple. They take ray traces for something like an 8K or a 16K. So the rays from that, and then through processing and AI, they will downscale that while keeping the light scaled at something like a 4K or 1440p. Without getting all technical, because I probably said it wrong, it's basically going to have more advanced lighting in something like a 4K ray traced video game. However, you're still gonna have lower frame rates than you would if you actively ray traced it without the DLSS um, on 4K or 1440p. Essentially what that means is better ray tracing, better lighting in video games with higher frame rate. And that's just a driver that will be available for the new RTX and the old RTX cards. So the 20, and the 30 series. Now, as far as frame rate in game, the RTX 3080 with ray tracing on is going to be able to game at 4K at 60 FPS, which is insane. And the RTX 3070 um, with ray tracing on is gonna be able to game uh, at well over 1440p 60 FPS. But we already knew that, but that's with ray tracing on um, the old 2070 with 1440p uh, with RTX on wasn't quite at 60 FPS over a whole. This is just what Nvidia claims. So it is going to be well above that. I'll have some images on the screen. Sorry if they're a little bit bad quality. I took them with my phone. I'm trying to get this out as quick as possible for you guys. But another huge thing is all these cards are gonna be so much quieter than the last generation and the cooling technique is much different. There's gonna be two fans on either side. One of those fans is gonna pull air up and then shoot it straight out of your PC. The next fan on the other side is gonna pull air from the front just like the other one, and then it's gonna push it up and out of the fan that will go into the exhaust fans in your PC. This is huge, and it's supposed to be able to cool the PC like 30 times better uh, and so much quieter. This is a huge leap. So the stats are 55% more airflow than the last generation for the 3080. Uh, three times quieter and 30% more efficient, which is really good. And for the second gen RT cores, it's gonna have 58 teraflops, two times ray tracing and triangle intersection, 238 tensor flops with the third generation tensor cores, and that is gonna have the DLSS with it as well. And there was a bunch of other really technical stuff, which I am not gonna cover. This is just an overview. Other YouTubers are gonna do much more technical stuff and they do understand it a little bit better than I do, but I am gonna go over some of the other updates because there were a lot of really cool ones. Now, a big one for me, and hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on this fairly soon, is the new 360 hertz display that nvidia they're just they're making the screen it's going to come out asus is coming out with it alienware and msi i'm pretty sure that's happening in october um one other company's making it i can't remember the name but that one is going to be huge it's going to be extremely competitive and it's going to be integrated for nvidia rtx systems to have even higher 
response time. Now the next one is a new webcam kind of app that they are releasing. Uh, there's gonna be a beta I think next month. Um, and basically what this does is it's gonna allow gamers and streamers to basically have a green screen effect instantly. And, and from the video that they showed, it looks really, really good. It looks like it works really well. Um, you'll be able to blur the background, change the image to whatever you want, or just cut yourself out. It'll also have an audio um, interface so that you can turn off any external sound and just hear your voice. And it seemed to work incredibly well. We'll see how that actually works when it comes out. But a huge one is the NVIDIA Machinima where you can edit things, which they actually used Bannerlord in the trailer for it, which was really cool. But basically what it is, is it allows you to at home use your RTX cards to track your body movement without actually having to put sensors on you. This is a crazy huge leap. Obviously for most people, it's not gonna be big. However, for game developers uh, that are not super high-end game developers, this is gonna allow some really amazing stuff to be able done in game. Um, and the fact that they can do that both for the machinima and actually for creating video games and animations is going to really change the whole game and especially uh, to the years to come, just that they've started this and really have started using it at the consumer grade level is massive and this could really change the course of the future for how video animations are made. And another little update, I'm not a big Fortnite person, but I know a lot of people are. Fortnite is now going to have ray tracing enabled, so that's gonna be RTX 20 series and 30 series. But guys, that is my little recap of the NVIDIA release of the new 30 series, which is really, really exciting. I am going to get my hands on a 30, 70 as quick as I can. I, I will do a review, of a much bigger overview, and I'm definitely going to try to get that 360 hertz monitor as quick as possible because you guys know I'm a big monitor guy. If you were finding my channel for the first time, I do a bunch of gaming and tech reviews. I don't usually do updates like this, but I thought I would this time. If you guys do want to go check out my channel, I definitely recommend it. You can subscribe at one of these corners and you can check out my last video. I literally can't even remember what the last video is, and that's a fantastic reason why you should subscribe. But this was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys later.